Hello everyone, how are you all? I hope that you guys have been doing really really good and yes, welcome back to my channel. So first thing first, have you subscribed to my channel yet? If not, go subscribe it right now and also don't forget to press the bell icon. Now let's get started. So in today's video, we are going to be discussing about the weightage of each and every chapter of your CA inter audit and also I'm going to be sharing about how you should be preparing this subject of audit. So let's get started. So the first thing which I'm going to be sharing is that this weightage is based on your previous attempts. So the questions which have been asked in your previous attempts, the papers, the, this weightage is based on your previous attempt papers because we never know what is going to be asked in future. So this whole analysis has been done on the basis of your previous attempts. So let's get started. So first of all, First thing which each and every student asks me is, ma'am, how we should start the preparation of audit? So first thing which I'm going to be telling you is, start with the first five chapters of audit. Now the first five chapters of audit has the weightage of around 35 marks in your exams. So it has high weightage. So especially you should be starting up with these first five chapters of auditing because these first five chapters are the basics of auditing. If you understand these chapters properly, in future you'll be able to understand all the next chapters which will come. So first of all, the concepts of first five chapters should be very clear in your head. Now the let's start with the weightage of these first five chapters. So the first um, chapter is your nature, objective and scope of audit. It is going to be asked in an exam around five to ten marks of questions can be asked from this uh, particular chapter. Then let's go to audit strategy. Around 10 marks of question is asked from your audit strategy and audit planning. Then comes to audit documentation and audit evidence. This is very important chapter. Around 10 marks of questions can be asked from this chapter. Then let's go to audit risk. Now this is the fourth chapter which is of audit risk. Around 5 marks of questions is asked from this chapter. Then there is the fifth chapter that is on the fraud. Around 5 marks can be asked from this chapter. So this entire weightage is obviously based on your previous year attempts. Okay. So these are the weightage of your first five chapters. Then let's go ahead. Then post that you can start up with your company audit. This is one of the very, very important chapters in auditing. The weightage of this chapter is around 15 to 20 marks. So this chapter should be thoroughly clear in your head and this chapter should be very um, conceptually cleared in your head. So prepare this chapter very, very nicely. It has a weightage of around 15 to 20 marks. Then let's go ahead. Then post that audit of different type of entities. This chapter is also really, really important. Around 8 to 10 marks can be asked from this chapter. So this chapter is about how the audit of different entities is done. It is an um, easy chapter if you read it once, if you um, read it properly, if you understand and read it. A lot of points are similar also in different entities. And also, if you understand this properly, you can write the points on your own. So this chapter has a weightage of around 8 to 10 marks. Prepare this properly. Mm -hmm. Then let's go to your next chapter that is audit sampling. Now this chapter has a weightage of around 5 to 6 marks in exams. Then there is a chapter of audit report. It has around 5 to 8 marks of weightage in exams. Then comes your audit of banks. Now this is uh, your Chapter number 12, this has a weightage of around 5 to 10 marks again. And now in this chapter, audit of banks, your study mat questions, your RTP questions, your mock test papers question, the questions which has been asked in your mock test papers. These questions are really important. There might be a possibility that one of the questions from study mat or RTP can get repeated in exams. So definitely prepare this chapter properly. You might, you might know, you might uh, see that a study mat question is asked in exams. So prepare this chapter in that way. Then comes your next chapter that is audit of items of financial statements. Now this chapter is huge and it has a good weightage also in exams. This can be asked in exams of around 15 marks. Yes, you're hearing it right. But this chapter is very, very lengthy. So one suggestion which I will give you when you're studying this chapter, audit of items of financial statement, don't think that you can complete this chapter in one or two days. In fact, I will suggest you divide this chapter into bits and pieces. In fact, study one point every day of this chapter and complete it like that because this chapter is huge. If you try to complete it in two or three days, you will get really bored of this chapter. You will not feel like studying this because it's little boring. So what I suggest you is, Every day in your timetable, you should definitely 
pick one point of this chapter and study it. So basically divide this chapter into some amount of days like 10 days or something. Read a particular 2-3 points every day and this chapter will complete, get complete. This chapter will get completed on its own. So that's how you should be studying this chapter. A lot of people face problem in this chapter. So that's how you should be preparing this chapter specifically. Then comes your um, chapter of analytical procedures which is chapter number 8. Definitely a 5-6 to six marks question can get asked in exam on this chapter. It's a very easy chapter. Concepts should be cleared in this chapter also. Then comes your audit in an automated environment. Now this chapter gets asked in exams at times. At times it's not asked in exams. But still if it gets asked in exam it can be of around 5 to 6 marks again. So for this chapter also I suggest you to see study mat questions very properly. All the RTP questions properly and all the mock test papers question also you have to see properly. Because these questions have the possibility of getting repeated again. So these so there are total 13 chapters and the weightage has been told by me to you now. Now the weightage part is done. Now the preparation part. First thing is in the subject of audit, there is a possibility that the ex in the exam, there can be a lot of questions which in the study mat are asked or of the RTPs or of the mock test papers can get repeated in particularly in the subject of audit. So prepare all these questions very, very properly. Whenever you're studying any theory subject, make sure that you revise that subject very, very uh, frequently. So that is one of the tips which I'll be giving you. The revision part, I keep telling you again and again that please revise theory properly. But especially in audit law, keep revising everything properly. Now the weightage is very clear in front of you all. Now you know how to study. And the basic thing is how you should start studying auditing is start preparing your first five chapters and then go ahead according to the weightage or as however you like. So I hope that this video was really very helpful for you. If yes, give me a thumbs up and um, see you for the next time. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe it now. See you for the next time. Stay tuned.